Cheryl's doing a bit of cooking. I'm making some gluten-free cupcakes again today. Again. Again, yep. So I've got to this. What I've done is in here, I've got four ounces of butter, four ounces of sugar, and I'm just about to weigh up four ounces of gluten-free flour, which is so if I say it's four ounces, it's 125 grams. So I'll set them. And then what I'm going to do is put this on to whiz until they get all nice and buttery, like so. Those things, gate things on the vista. Let's put those on there then. Well, so we put the Halloween cases onto the tray. Cheryl's gonna have to make some muffins one day. I'll have to make some muffins, yeah, if you want me to. Tell, yeah. tell Mummy Sammy she's got to make you some cookies. Do you know how to make cookie dough? I'd like to give it a try. Mm. As you can see, the Halloween are quite creepy ones. Yeah. You can make a chocolate pizza. Yeah. 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 Sort of mm. like that. Anyway. Just make, a, just make a just make a pizza base covered in Nutella. Yeah. So right, as you can see, that's all nice and creamy now. Mm. So nice and creamy. So I've had in one egg. Plop went in the egg. Two eggs. Plop went in the egg again. And then what I'm going to do is also, well, to stop it from going curdly, add in a, teaspoon, a tablespoon of flour for each egg I put in. You know you should put these recipes down below, but you don't, do you? I will do. If people want me to put the recipe down below, I will do. Now give it a quick little mix. Oh, my God. <laughs> like so. Oh, it looks like talcum powder. <laughs> I'll And then... What I do is sorry about the noise. Add the rest of my flour. Obviously, again, this is gluten-free flour, but you can use your normal flour. This is just um, adapted the recipe basically for um, adding the gluten-free flour. Like so, and I just mix it together and figure it right. Like thing to get all the air into get all the air into it. Like so. Well, so. Then what I also tend to do is I add um, some baking powder in. Obviously, a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. Want to show off the brand of baking powder? I use Dr. Ottaker. Dr. Ottaker. Baking powder. Well, I've used the oldie one before, haven't I? And the other one didn't taste very nice last time, did it? No. So I did a teaspoon of bacon powder. Again, the bacon powder is gluten free, I made sure it's gluten free. Yeah, we're using a Breville mixer. And um, we're using Sainsbury's, obviously. And as before, Sainsbury's free from, from flour. flour. And we're using Country Life Dairy Request milk. Mm. One, two, use that. Obviously, you don't have to use milk. I find I like milk, using milk. That's why it gives it a bit of extra taste, so to speak. And then mix it together, like so. Extreme close up of the bowl, what do you reckon? <laughs> hands up, so. hands up who likes licking the bowl out afterwards. I know you certainly do. Oh, they're going to lick it out. Comments down below, like licking the bowl out. That's it. 
And then we're ready then to put into the cupcakes. Sam, are you going to come and dollop? You going to come and dollop? You want a dollop in there? Hold on, ready? You going to come dollop? Come on, I could dollop the mixture in there. Come on. That's it. Again, we're using Buddy. Mm -hmm. Go on. And we're using Kate Buddy's Kate Boss. Put them in there. Squeeze. Mm. That's it. And again. How many are you doing, Sammy? How many are we doing? Lots. Doing lots. Put it in there. Squeeze it in. Oh, drop, drop, drop. Close up with the dollop. There you go. Mm. Well, what it tastes like. That's it. Slip it in. That's it. Can we squeeze in? A bit too much in that one, Sammy. That one's going to be a bit. There will be muffins at this rate. Right? There will be muffins. Mm. Hey, look, Sammy's doing there. Mm. No one's going to hide anything in that one, Sammy. Squeeze it. That's it. Do it. That's it. Squeeze it then. That's it, keep going. Next one. That one in there. Squeeze. That's it. Come on, sweet, come on. Let's put that one down that way. Let's squeeze it. That's it. Keep going. See that go in? That one in there. That's it. Then we'll see we'll get more at this one out of here. Let's squeeze it in. Squeeze it in. That's it. I think. Can we get one more out of here? Let's try to get one more. Squeeze it all out of this way. This might be a small one, but it the games. Is that going in there? That's okay, that one going in there. That's why I'm just looking at this small one. And then what we do is then we put them in the oven then for 180 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. That's it. You can see that saying is obviously they're not level. Normally when I make them they're level, but obviously I've had a little help us today. So then, I said, any other cakes? That's it, and any other layer? Let's put one of the cakes in. Let's see, our cakes are cold now. So I'm just putting my icing in here. Put my orange icing. It's just, this isn't the real icing I use, I normally use Bretty Crocker icing, but I thought, because it's Halloween, if you use that one, but from the pound shop, so I haven't got a clue what it's like. I'll we'll find out in a minute. This is Poundland product. It's Poundland, yeah. Yeah. So I have a Poundland or B&M where I got it from, I can't think where I got it from now. Ugh, you got to look at the crap in that, ugh. <laughs> Paprika extract. Ugh. You want paprika? Yeah. What's that? Emulsifier. Look at all this crap in this and very. Mm. Is there laser in there? Oh, potassium sorbate. Oh, blimey. Mm. <laughs> or is some um, icing? Oh, God. It's like death by icing. Mm. This is the normal one I use. The normal one I use, I can't find obviously because we're having our kitchen done. So it's been quite, we packed quite a lot of things away. Oh. So I'm just having a bit of this one to see what this is like. Yeah. What's in this one? I wonder. Same stuff. 
first up in that one, is it? This has got stuff in here I never heard of. Okay. What the heck are these? Look, you got Humi, Humi, I can't even pronounce that. Sorb, God, blimey. <coughs> Mono and died just a, oh, blimey, Cheryl. Mm -hmm. oh. That is certainly not right in my eyes. Look, mono and dijoy sulfates and fatty. Oh. I don't think so, Samuel. Oh, this is just a test run. That is not going in our gobs. No, that was not. I think I'll go back to the 6.0 normal license, I think. Oh. Maybe from Poundland, but no way is that going in my mouth. Oh. That is terrible. Why can't that just be just ice and sugar and be done with it? <coughs> okay, as you can see, there's our finished cupcake. Um, what I obviously what I'll probably do is, if Steve doesn't like, most of all, I don't find disagree with that myself actually. I'm not giving that to Ben either. No, am I? What I think mm. I'll probably do is I'll probably scrap that one and then I'll probably use my normal one and then come back when I finish doing my cakes. Not being asked to guys, if you want to eat that, then that's up to you, but do not eat that. That is. Oh, that is terrible. That doesn't, that doesn't sound very nice, is it? No. no. I think I stick to my normal one. I think it's that's like just sticking a load of chemicals down your mouth. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'll avoid that one with a plague, definitely. Well, definitely. So, like I said, I'll come back um, when I've used my proper icing and then I'll show you what I've After a long search in the cupboard, look what Cheryl has found. Some of the proper Bessie Crocker vanilla buttercream style icing. And in this one, it's just plain old, if that zooms in. Not gonna zoom in for me. Set the autofocus. There we go, if you can see that. Vanilla flavour icing made with vegetable, and that's it. None of all that mumbo jumbo in them other ones. Oh. This is the stuff that quite a lot of people use, Betty Crocker. This is, I don't know, this is quite an American product as well, isn't it, Shell? Yeah. Yeah. You can't beat this stuff on cakes, because this stuff never lasts in our house. It gets eaten just like that. It does. Betty Crocker, I'm doing a promotion for you here. There you go. I oh, do promote your vanilla buttercream style icing any day of the week. Here we go, I've got the proper stuff in here, look. Betty Crocker stuff. Tastes more nicer than that horrible Poundland stuff. Oh no. Oh. I only got that Poundland stuff because I thought, be, I, I thought no. that'd be ideal for I'll Halloween. tell you what, any kids that eat that over Halloween, they've got to be joking because that tastes absolutely horrible. It did taste disgusting, didn't it? Yeah. Ready, here we go. And plus they say palm oil was not good for you. I oh, know. Can't even see, she wouldn't let me get in with the camera. Hmm. Hmm. And then to finish it off, we our little mini marshmallows. This is the dog way from the packet, they'll go flying on the floor. We've got one down there, oh, we'll, we'll put it in the bin. I'll put it in the bin in a second. And then, finish it off. Because that means we have a lot of chocolate later on with them in. Yeah, <laughs> and the cream, there you go, finish it off. Now, which looks better to be honest with you? Believe me, that tastes horrible. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. There you go. That's a gluten free. That's like paprika, paprika flavoured icing. Ugh. I know, it's disgusting, isn't <laughs> it? There you go. Okay, so yes, I can finish all these off. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!